Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Summer in Mara. Last time we did a bunch of things. We got a- we got an inkwell, made some paper, and uh, now we got a quest from this lady, Saimi, I believe her name is, S-A-I-M-I. She wants us to go to the restaurant and ask for a cat child named Mayo. Mayo? Mayo Mayo? I don't know. I don't even know where the restaurant is. I know there's a building over here that I've never actually been in before, so I have to assume that this is probably the restaurant as I sneakily try to set up my timer because I forgot to set my timer. Boom. Yeah, this is probably the restaurant, right? Oh, it's you! Um... Hello, I'm looking for Mayo. Why? I've been told to talk to her. She's not available right now. Mm. Aren't you, Mayo? No. Mayo is a pirate. She's not here. I thought she was a waitress. You thought wrong. Uh, come on, Mayo. Go prepare the tables. At your service, boss. So you are Mayo. Depends on who's asking. <laughs> Sammy says it's Siami time. Uh, I'm, I'm just. I'm just gonna. It's very, it's very hard to like get a correct pronunciation for that name. Saimi. Saimi says it's time to stop at the prank calls. Ah, look, I have a good one. Let's call. Look, I have a good one. Let's call her. I'm not interested. I'm just so very bored. Almost no one comes here. Maybe we need some advertisements to make people aware of the restaurant. Could you help me? What do you need? Let's cook a dish and offer it as a free gift. Deliver four dishes to the Kylis inhabitants, but don't waste them on tourists. It's a good idea. Mm. What dish is that? It's an Ancora salad. Where is Ancora? It's the planet my boss is from. He's an Ank, you know? Ah, I see. He had too much hair for a Quido. Ah. And too many horns for a cat child. Distribute the four Ancora salads among the Kalos inhabitants. Okay, so I'm guessing that just means, like, named characters. We also do believe I have a quest we can get with, yeah, Edigan. And Napopo also has a new quest for us. Um. I'll bring you food. From where? From the restaurant of the big guy with horns. That Ank? No, thank you. Uh, well, we gave it to him anyway. So, uh, apparently that's one of those down. I believe Napopo is over here? If I remember correctly. I think that's the Adventurer Cat Child's, uh, place. Yeah, Napopo's hanging out of here, and apparently you have a new quest for us. So what you got? Um. Napopo, would you like some more paints? Okay. Let's go to the market and ask there. Maybe we should ask Noho. Let's see. Purple and brown wax crayons. Who needs brown? What a boring color. Purple I agree with though. Purple's cool. I don't know what those are used for, but if I see an item, I might as well grab it. Alright, so I gave one to that guy. I guess the next name character we could give it to is the cat child person over here. Sounds like a good plan to me. Hmm. Hi, do you want a salad? Oh, I have this one in my diary. Ancora salad. It's not good. Well, I'm sorry. It's amazing. Can't remember the voice I gave that particular character. I kind of flop around on voices sometimes. Uh -huh. A salad? Hmm. From the Anx restaurant. Oh, Alwyn is back. Alright, and who's the last one as that shadow glitches out on that thing? Probably just somebody down here. Let's go ahead and eat something. Here we go. Orange juice. Wow, that really helped. Here you go. Food. Ugh. You didn't like it, I guess? This just brings so many questions to my mind. Like, how do the fish people feel about eating, like, octopi and stuff? What, what's what's the deal with that? I'm curious. Alright, so now we're just gonna go over here and talk to her again. Mayo. 
My O. Here you go. Hey, how was it? You delivered everything? Good job. Owen would be very happy. Um, about what? Um, Mayo has asked me to... I wanted to know her opinion of Ancora salad. I delivered it all across the island and this girl liked it very much. But... <laughs> really? What a good idea, Mayo. Mayo? I'm sure more people will want to come now. I... Yes, she liked it. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Why does he seem so angry? Thank you, Mayo. You helped me very much. No problem, boss. Come around whenever you want, child. Hey, I'm sorry. We can't help you now. Come later. But I delivered everything. See you. At least I hope she won't bother seeing me again. Sign me. All right. Yeah, it's definitely going to take me a hot minute to get used to all these different names. And all the voices I give the characters. I honestly didn't think there would be this many. Apparently we had all... Yeah, I forgot to accept a mission from him. I didn't think he was actually going to take any of the food when I took it to him. And thus I forgot to just get his normal mission. <clears throat> Kid, you asked me for ink. Now you have to give it back. Hey, you're supposed to say please. No, you owe me that ink. And there is no need to say please for things that are owed to you. Huh? You told me to always be polite, no matter what. You only have to be polite with adults. Or if you are going to ask for something. I did you a favor, and now you have to return it. Come on. Seriously? Turn the favor to Ed again by bringing him a new jar of ink. How do I make ink? Hmm. There it is. We need a squid and water. Well, I don't know where to get a squid, so... That might take a hot minute. Return him and peek with Saimi. Bring sunflowers to Anzo. Get more paints. Hmm. Alright, we might need to grind up some money for this, because there's a couple of quests where we have to buy something. Now, I don't really think I have a bunch of stuff that most of these characters would want to purchase off of me. So yeah, I think we may need to go back to our house and uh, just do a few things. Most of these characters don't pay us when we do their quests. I can't go return to speak to Saimi though, so why don't we go ahead and do that. And then we'll head back and uh, I'll probably, you know, grind up a few things at the house for selling. I'm sure a lot of our plants have grown now, including the sunflowers, and we can probably craft a bunch of juice and stuff. Ooh, there's another one of those. That has larva, so that we can catch some special fish. Or it's another queen bee. I need to find out how to get that set up on my island. It'd be really cool to have my own, uh, like, honey collection, basically. Or honey collector. Mm. We still, yeah, we need a better hammer for that. Might as well pop this, though. Need a better hammer? Oh, that's gold. That's why. I was like, wait, that's just copper. Pop, pop, pop. Alright, Saimi. I am here. Um. Koa, it's nice to see you. The telephone pranks are over, and the map is almost finished. <laughs> right. There's only one detail left. I need vegetable oil to varnish the paper and make it long-lasting. <laughs> oil? I'll ask Brahm. Ask Brom for vegetable oil to finish the map. Okay, so we're not going back quite yet, because I didn't expect there to actually be another step to this. But sure enough, there is. We have to go get vegetable oil. I am interested to get back to my island, though, and kind of spruce it up a little bit. There's a couple of things I want to do. I want to rebuild some of the pins we have, even though we don't have like anything to go in them yet. And I just generally want to make it look a little bit nicer. I want to kind of customize my island a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, that guy's down at the beach. Should just be right over here though, right? No, you're you're further down. Whoops. Hey, two lovebirds. All right, so should be right here. Oh, it's actually open now. 
commerce. You sell mochi, grilled fish, clans marinier, minier, ramen. Oh, you sell some vegetable oil, but I can't buy it. Is Prom here? Prom is very busy at the moment. Who are you? I need... Hello, Koa. Burr. Hey, do you have vegetable oil? I'm making a map and... That's nonsense, kid. Vegetable oil is a product of high culinary value. It is not for your crafts. Oh. Koa, we, we don't have... Oh. Go back to work. <laughs> but uncle... Wow, you're his uncle? Excuse me, you're Brahm's uncle? Burr? How are oh. you? In a hurry. Never mind. Thing is, we don't have oil. We need sunflower seeds for the recipe. <laughs> this morning I saw a cat child eating sunflower seeds. Burr. Ah, that might have been Anzo. Oh. Hey, sorry. Look, if you get the seeds and bring me sunflowers, how about I give you the recipe for the oil in exchange? I don't know. What do we say? Please? Okay. Okay, cool. So now we just have another quest to bring some more sunflowers, which is perfect because I had to go get those and bring them back to Anzo anyway. Well, this is neat. A lot of the quests kind of come together in various ways. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to the island now. I'll check on my crops and check on a few things. If anything interesting happens, I'll pop back in to show you. Oh, cool. That's nice. It's raining today. That made things a little bit easier. So I got back and I kind of looked for some seashells and stuff. I still haven't messed with a lot of my crops, but I thought since everything was grown, I could kind of pop in uh, and show what I was going to plant and everything. Like I said, I don't want to make the... LP too disjointed and too much of it is just me cutting things out because then we're missing like the main point of the game but I also just don't want to have a 30 minute episode of me running around my island picking up seashells so we can plant more sunflowers and why not we can plant some more carrots which is useful and we can plant some more cotton we don't have anything else though unfortunately so that seems to be all we're going to be planting for now um, yeah, I did want to repair the chicken coop, so I think I may chop down some trees and also just go around and loot all of the uh, fruit and everything on the island as well, so. Alright, I thought I would come over here and fish a little bit, although I don't think I have a lot of bait. Um. There aren't any big fish left. I'll have to wait for the small ones to grow. Oh wow, there's actually a limited amount of fish. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we haven't really been catching <clears throat> as much fish as I feel like we could, so... I'll have to come over here and do that. I also don't know the reason in feeding these. Like, what's the point? Do we just get the shell instead? Like, is that what happens there? Oop, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, we, we get the shells back, I guess. And also it seems like we can make the uh, crabs like us. I'm not really sure what we'll get from that, but it seems like we can. I don't think I've ever caught one of these before. Have I? A flatfish. Yeah, I don't think I have. I mean, we might as well use all of our bait here. And just catch a couple of these. Because we haven't done this before. 
<clears throat> it does say they're common, so it's nothing special, but... The better thing I could get is the octopus, but I don't think I can catch those. Like, I just, I don't, I don't feel like I'm good enough for that. There's something really peaceful about rainy days in life sim games, I must say. They're just so damn peaceful. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut some logs and stuff now. And, uh, then we'll get to working on the chicken coop. Alright, so, <clears throat> I've gotten quite a bit of wood. And, uh, we're gonna work on replanting some of our trees here. So we should have enough to f repair the chicken coop. Like I said, I don't really think we can get chickens yet, per se. But I do just kind of want to explore, uh you know, building up my island a little bit and what that entails. I still haven't decided whether I'm actually going to cut out um, most of the, like, grinding in this or if I could just, like, make a little music montage of it with one of the songs from the OST and just kind of fast forward it. I usually like when uh, LPers do that when they're doing a tedious task because it kind of lets me see, you know, what they were doing <clears throat> and all that. But I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll probably come to a conclusion at some point. But uh, right now, we need to go ahead and work on chickens. Oh. Also, we actually need to water our plants. Because that is something that needs to happen. Alright, so there we go. Those are watered. And we need to go in here. Workshop. We just need to make a lot of boards. I believe it was eight that we needed. To actually repair the coop. <clears throat> yes, hello. Oh, hello Blackberry. I would like to repair you. Yes, I have the nails needed and everything. Cool, cool. Uh, wait, do we have chickens? I have to feed the animals first. We don't have any animals, do we? Like, I imagine I have to get chickens some other way. Yeah. And I don't know how to do that yet, but the coop is repaired. I was just kind of tired of having these, like, messed up buildings on my island. What do you take to repair? If it's even possible? I don't get a prompt for this one like I got a prompt for the chicken coop. Alright, and what other things did we need to do? So, we need to bring the sunflowers. <laughs> we need to get that for you. We need a squid before we can make your ink. We have wax crayons. We need to buy sunflowers and silver ingots. Most of those we can't do yet, but... Let me just verify that we don't actually have to make anything with these. No. Alright, so we can go ahead and head back to town now, I suppose. And I'll just meet you over there, probably. Alright, here we are back in Qualis. And, uh, yeah, we have to turn some seeds into you. I love sunflower seeds. Cool. Koa, there's nothing about pumpkins in my diary. I don't know anything about them, not even what they look like. But I got some seeds. Good, I'll grow you some pumpkins then. Okay. Alright, cool. So that was our that's our new quest with you. Relatively simple idea. And then I imagine these were gonna give him some sunflowers, then we're gonna have to get the recipe for it, which I imagine also takes sunflowers. Mr. Taka, I have the sunflowers. Very good, thank you very much. Now I can make vegetable oil. I'm going to give you the recipe so you can make it whenever you want. And you'll stop being a nuisance. Are you going to speak to clients like that? That's Bram's business. I am the master chef. The best in Mara. Are you sure? Yes, he's very good. And you, are you the best waiter in Mara? No. I... I will be a chef as well, Burr. Wow, like your uncle. He still needs a lot of practice. And forget about those ideas of yours. What ideas? When, whenever you want, come by and I'll show you my dishes. That would be awesome. Cool. Got a new recipe for vegetable oil. Bring the vegetable oil to... Saimi? Alright. So... What else did we have to do here? I have to talk to Bram to get the next mission from him. Can I even do it? Do I have to just talk to you? Taka. 
Oh, come on, don't bother me. What's wrong? I need some fresh products for the bar, so I will grow them myself. What should I plant first? Why don't you start with peppers? I can get you some seeds. Good idea. Collect some pepper seeds for Taka. I don't know how the hell to do that, but... Thanks? Are you sure you know how to collect pepper seeds, Koa? Because <laughs> I have no idea what those would be. Maybe that's a... Maybe that's something we just... Yeah, I still have talked to Brom. Start a new quest. Yeah, but he's not out of the thing. So, I don't know about that. But now we can go sell some stuff. And selling some stuff will get us enough money to buy some new things for some of our other characters, so they'll be happy. Alright, so why? You like flatfish. Fantastic, because I have a fair amount of flatfish. There you go. So I got a 105 from you. What do you like? You like resins. I have quite a bit of those. So I'll sell you 100 G's worth of those. How about you? You don't really like anything. You two are the sisters that just don't have personality, apparently. Uh, oh, here we go. So you like some of the stuff that I have. I'm not really willing to give up much, though, except for the oranges, because the oranges I just can get a ton of at home. So I'll sell you some of those. And now that should be enough to get um, the wax crayons, which I believe Koho has? The fisherman boy down here? One of you do. Uh, you sell nails. Or wait, no, this is what you want to buy from me. You're the one that sells carrot seeds. Not super interested. Go away, Koa. I'm losing money with you standing here. Uh, can I... I think, yeah, I think he's the one that sells them. Hmm. I don't quite remember. Oh yeah, I did get more trash. I don't know what that actually does. Like, I imagine it does good things. I mean, recycling is good. I'm helping the video game environment, I suppose, but... What does it actually do for me? What benefit do I get? Because I imagine there's a reason to do it. Yeah, I can't remember who sold the, um... Crayons. Alright, well, what else do we have? I have to bring vegetable oil to you. Oh, well, yeah, I have to get a boat model. But it's too late, so everything's closed. I should just get back to the ship and uh, sleep. And then I can follow up on a couple of these things tomorrow. My ship that I crashed into the pier <clears throat> and or dock. Uh, whoops. I, I thought I pressed the go to sleep button, but no, I did not. But this time I did. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, when do you open? Nine. So if I just wait here for like ten more seconds, talking about whatever I want, you know, things, stuff, and such, boom. It's closed. Oh, wait. Ten? Ah, damn it. No, it's the bank that opens at nine, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I should just go buy the boat from Aquila and then head back over there. But time progresses so quickly and they're only open for six hours. Which feels like just absolute insanity to me with how quickly time goes by in this. Like, just me running over here is taking, like, an hour? No, more than an hour. <laughs> just to get over to Aquila's place. So I'm really, really gonna have to rush back if I want to uh, get there on time. Hello, bunny. I don't remember, were there items that were kind of strewn around here. I think really the only thing over here is like apples that fall out of trees and stuff. I wonder how many different animals I can get on my island. I want to be able to get a lot of them. There's an apple. Alright. Uh, commerce. Wait. I thought you sold the boats. Am I crazy? You again. Caleb sent me. Oh, I see. What do you need? He asked for a boat model. Are you sure that he doesn't want anything else? Yes, I'm sure. I imagine that you don't know, but Caleb has a lot of money. Like, a lot. 
He and Noho amassed a great fortune during their travels. They were really good merchants. Really? They don't seem like it. Here, take the model. It's not worth a lot, but I'm sure he will like it. Thank you. Cool. Boat model. I just gotta bring it back to Caleb. As quickly as humanly possible. Because time progresses so quickly in the world of Mara. Well, look at that rabbit freak out. Hey, buddy. You good? You were running on the air there for a second. Alright. Keep doing you, I guess. So, I, apparently Caleb just, uh, likes boat models? Not the worst hobby. I know my brother, at some point, did the, like, uh, <clears throat> boat in a bottle thing. I remember always thinking it was so cool and wondering how people did it, but you... Basically, we just do it with tweezers, which I still don't understand how people had the patience for it, but... Go away, Koa. Whoops. Okay. Oh, you're the, you're the one that I saw the boat model at. You do have the one wax crayon that I need. You'll also buy my fish for a pretty good amount, but... Eh. Okay. I want the crayon. Alright. And brown crayons... I don't know where that was. I don't think Raimi had them, did she? It's hard to keep track of everyone's inventory. Also, I'm curious, so I'm gonna buy one of these. Put coins in the machine to get a gift. Egg? Wh why A sandwich. Why would I want an egg from that machine? I thought it was actually gonna be like collectibles and stuff. But no. So... Oh, shit. I forgot to bring it back to Caleb. <laughs> I was down there. I was so obsessed with, um... Getting back to that shop on time before it closed that I completely forgot about Caleb down here. Sorry, buddy. <clears throat> Aquila gave me this boat model. Really nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Did he ask for money? Now that you mention it, no, he didn't. Right. Are you thinking about not paying him? I gave him some money a few years ago. It's enough to cover the expenses of every model he could get. Oh boy. That's the longest sentence I've ever heard from you. Sure. <gasps> An octopus backpack? Oh, please. Yes. Give me the octopus backpack. Where was that again? Here. Look at it! Great companion. Oh, it's the best. We have upgraded our character. Yep, this is fantastic. Alright, so... Talk to Caleb for the next mission. Koa. I have to bring some money to Ed again. Can you do it? Sure, I'll take care of it. And I won't steal even a penny. I know. Eh, it was a joke. Sure. Commences stealing the money. I think I'm gonna have to nap though. One, because my energy is pretty low, and two, because I think the bank will be closed by the time I get over there, so. Nap time it is. And we're awake. Yeah, the, uh, aside from energy meter, I don't really see hunger meter <coughs> really being a problem a lot of the time. Mostly because it feels like it's just so incredibly easy to you know, consistently get food that I've never been in a position where I didn't have any. But I mean, it makes sense. It just doesn't seem like that big of an issue. I've brought Caleb's money. Good. Is that what the bank is settled now? Debt? Shortly after I arrived at the island, Caleb asked me for a loan. He then built the shipyard by the harbor with that money. And he has been paying me back since then. He is my best customer. Well, wow, that's nice. Someone told me that he has a lot of money. Oh, I certainly agree. He has a lot of money. But he doesn't use it. Here, give him this receipt. Now we are even. Okay, so now we just have to go back to Caleb. We're basically just playing gopher for these people. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I also want to find out what's in that building right there. Maybe I should investigate that right now. Oh, wait, that's just... Oh, yeah, never mind. 
Yeah, I forgot. That's just the hotel where we can sleep at. But why would we do that when we can sleep in our boat? Caleb, here's your receipt. Everything is paid now. I'm glad to hear that. Aquila told me that you have a lot of money. Why did you ask Edigan for a loan? The bank had a special offer. They gave me crockery with the loan. And couldn't you just buy the crockery yourself? It was limited edition. Really beautiful. Noho didn't like it that much. Here, take some coins. Thanks for the receipt. 50? Jeez. Alright, well, what do we got next? Advance the quest of Koa to continue. Collect some pepper seeds for Taka. Pumpkin for Anzo. You need silver. You still need a brown wax crayon, which I don't know where I'm supposed to get that from. Alright, so I guess the thing we want to follow up now is bringing that vegetable oil back, but to do that, we're going to have to get back to the island, so... I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here. I think we should have a pretty sizable episode with what I've recorded so far. So next time I'll meet you back on the island and we'll work on getting that vegetable oil to Siamy. See you then.